Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Lord Standard Gage here, and welcome to Fishplay Films 100th video. Hurrah! It's taken Greg two and a half years to get to this uh, historic milestone, and it's a special thank you to you all. He's asked me to talk you through some of his earliest work. We've raided the video vault and come up with some of Greg's earliest tapes, and in this never before seen footage, you'll see Greg and Kev trying to em emulate. Emulate, copy, copulate, oops, sorry, ha <laughs> ha, emulate my good friend Sir David Attenborough and try and make a documentary style rail video. And you'll soon see that uh, it's not that easy to do. So, without further ado, I'll have another cup of tea and uh, let's have a look at Greg's very first documentary attempt. And action. This is difficult. I'm sort of getting the whole black. This is a mess. It's difficult. Yeah, that tripod's not real good, is it? No, it's this button. I'm not good at this telephoto thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, bug. You're only learning, Kevin. I'll bug it that up, but go from there. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? You can try. Well. I say that was about as exciting as a prostate exam. But nevertheless, uh, here's some more. And action. Ooh, I like that. This is difficult. I'm sort of getting the whole black. This is a mess. <laughs> It's difficult. Yeah, that tripod's not real good, is it? No, it's this button. I'm not good at this telephoto thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, bug. You're only learning, Kevin. I'll bug it that up, but go from there. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? You can try. Okay. But uh, yeah, this telephoto thing's a bit of. Just use one finger. Yeah, I am, but yeah. it's and just. Drop it across the top. Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that may be a bit better, eh? To do it slowly, like sort of. Yeah, you just as soon as that, as yeah. soon as that white telly thing comes up in the screen. You know, yeah. So you don't need to panic. You know mm, I mean? It'll catch up, yeah. Well, yeah, and then you can just go a little bit slow, but it is very sensitive. Mm. It's good because you can do it very. Yeah. We'll do it again. We'll take two. Take two. Well, I stand correct. That wasn't as exciting as a prostate exam. That was as exciting as a prostate exam by a fat-fingered doctor. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I think... Well, here we are at the top of the Little Liverpool range. This is still the Laidley side. We were down that way before. Around here is the Yalamaloo Tunnel with a train just about to come through. It's come up from Grandchester. This is the summit. So uh, this is a train going towards Toowoomba. So I can hear it coming now through the tunnel. Oh, he's just bloody throttled back, the bastard. Yeah. Give him a wave, Kitty.
we've set up at the moment in between the uh, upper line, which is over here, and the down line here, or if you speak in railway terms, that's the down line to Brisbane, which is actually going uphill, and that's the up line to Toowoomba, which is actually going downhill. But anyway, uh, we're in the middle of the two, and the Little Liverpool range is up this way, and the Brisbane is sort of that way, and I can hear a train coming up the other side of the Liverpool range out of Grandchester. So probably in about five or ten minutes, unless it derails, which I hope it doesn't, it should be coming down here and through there. So it should be good. I say, Kato, you're going to have to keep these coming, old son. This is pretty hard to watch. Here we are in Laidley, we haven't even got to our spot yet, and uh, you can hear something struggling up here, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll see what it is. We haven't got time to get to our little spot, which is just up there, so. You now it's about 7.30 in the morning, it's rather brisk. I missed half of that. Ah, well, there's some award-winning footage right there. I can just hear George Lucas on the phone right now. Hello? My God. But there's more. Alrighty, here we are at Laidley. Behind us is uh, Laidley over here. And this is the start of the Little Liverpool Range. And and now we have a coal train coming up and this is about a bit under two percent so it's a real struggle and this goes all the way up all the way up to the tunnel which is at the top of the Liverpool range so uh, we'll, we'll catch this and uh, have a squiz Should be notch eight there, flat stick. That's the turbo, yeah. Yeah, these are 2300 class. These are the uh, the maxi rebuilds that they took a lot of the different classes back to the workshops and rebuilt them and put turbo charges on them and got an extra 900 horsepower, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. Better brakes. What but no, no extra weight, so uh, they've had to right. employ really, really uh, traction. advanced traction control because they got the horsepower, but. This bloody tripod's a bit binding up. Actually, I think that front one might be a 2100 class. Yeah, 
this tripod's no good for this. It's too jerky. I'd say the front one's a 20. I don't think it's a maxi rebuild. I can't read the numbers yet. This um, it's too jerky. Yeah, like it's smooth, but it it's notchy. yeah, yeah. You, the video ones have a different. I think they got Bezel, Teflon washers yeah, or something, yeah. and it's they're firm, but they don't go, they don't yeah, stick. Chatter. Yeah. Chatter. Well, it doesn't chatter, but it, it sort of locks and then it gives, you know. And that's all. It's all free. So yeah. And you try tripod. You get a proper video oh, of panning yeah. tripod, you know. Yeah. Oh, all in the one. Yeah, so you're not losing. Yeah, I don't know. How to yeah, no, you can. You yeah. can. Uh, I know the security camera. Oh, okay. There he is, Niles. Absolutely. Yeah, she had the black painted leather shoes on, and the high heel socks, and everything. It was lovely. <laughs> oh, I love those bleeding skirts. Oh, I'm gonna go. Well, there's some more Oscar-winning stuff right there, I say. And uh, what a uh, lovely experience it's been to step back in time, so to speak, and see uh, some of Greg's earliest works. And, uh, and now here's some more. some footage actually worth watching. <laughs> well, it's about bloody time, I say. Anyway, thanks to all the Stan for those kind words. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to say a big thanks to all my viewers and subscribers, and uh, thank you for the tips and comments over the last couple of years. We've got a lot more good stuff coming up on Fishblade Films, including layout updates, which I know a few of you have been asking for. Uh, a bit of forward driving, steam trains, Dakota installs, uh, well, anything, what else? Uh, weathering, which I'm going to have a go at. And uh, obviously a lot more train videos from around Australia. So, uh, just a quick peek coming up in the next couple of frames for you. So, uh, once again, thank you very much for your support in the last couple of years. And hopefully the next 100 videos will be bigger and better. Alright, thanks again, and here's a clip of what's coming up. Hooroo! Coming up on Fishblade Films, Passenger Trains, Earth Movers, The Last Steam Powered Sawmill in Australia, Smoke and Alcos, and Locomotive Testing, all coming up on Fishplate Films. Ooh. Well, there you have it. A brief look back to where it all started. And it's been your pleasure having me in your bedroom, or should I say lounge room tonight? And on behalf of Greg and the staff of Fishplate Films, I'd like to thank you all for your watching and continued support throughout this, uh, well, two and a half year endeavour. In the future, we've got many more interesting videos coming up, and I look forward to talking to you again on behalf of Fishback Films. So it's Lord Stan saying toodle pip, and we'll see you next time. Hurrah, pa! I'm gonna need another one, Kato.